Good day, Droops here, one here for an action figure review. Today we're looking into the Marvel Select Sandman. So here we have him in his packaging. So you can see here clearly all the accessories or most of the accessories that he has, the multiple hands. On the side, we have a good artwork of Sandman in his sand form. And on the back, we have a read up of Sandman. On the side, there's nothing much, so let's open it up. Read up on the back says, William Baker was born in Queens, New York, where he had a troubled upbringing. Falling into a life of crime, he went to jail where he took the name Flint Marco as an alias. Upon his escape from prison, he fled to an irradiated beach used for atomic testing where the sand bonded to his body turning him into a man of living sand his further criminal activity brought him into conflict with the spider-man and the human torch and he later joined groups like the frightful four and the sinister six to challenge his old enemies he has since spent time as an ally of spider-man and even a reserve avenger but recent changes to his physiology has left his future uncertain just some interesting artwork here at the back of the box if you successfully remove it nicely you can see here you can see um, there's spider-man here watching span man here's spider-man having a beach so you can see the sand there making some sand castles here we have more art of sandman it seems that he's really inseparable from spider-man based on the art here it's a pretty good artwork as well this same artwork can be seen in there as well in terms of accessories sandman comes with a lot uh, obviously this is one for his hand which is a spiky square thing another spiky uh, item we have here is a circular like a ball of spike here we have of course his sandman stand so that you can peg in his uh, feet then we have an alternate but lower body of sandman here which just has a nice sculpture here in terms of the texture here you can feel that that's all sculpted sand that is really good it's hollow underneath but it's really good so you can peg in his body here yeah i forgot to mention most of this has grainy texture most of them so i mean all of them actually this is really good this is a bit spiky but a bit soft here we have five interchangeable right hands. First we have the fisted hand, then we have the gripping hand, then a relaxed hand, and here's a trigger pointing hand. And the last right hand that he has is a spiky weapon, as you can see here. Here we have five interchangeable left hands. First we have the fisted hand, then uh, another relaxed hand then we have a sandy fisted hand then a claw like hand and last we have the spiky ball hand it's really fun to have all of these interchangeable hands as you can see you can mix and match so we have sandman here i noticed that this one is really loose so it can easily pop out half of the body so that you can attach Sandman to the alternate base here. Which this one seems to be right. Problem with Marvel Select figures is their paint can easily chip by incorrect handling. So okay, so there you go. I think he's he's locked in. It's a really good sandy he's Sandman, I guess. Yeah, he's locked in. Here's the other half of his body. So let's try to remove it again. And let's get the human body back. In terms of the hands, so you, as any marble, so that you just pull this and 
there you go, you got that one out. And interestingly, this one is a hold. So it says there it's for the right hand. There's an R there, as you can see. See that there's an R, so one time. So here we go, I managed to remove. So you need to remove the whole thing off, which is a bit difficult so that you can pop on this other accessories here. So far, this one fits easily and this one as well. So you just can simply pop it off. Place it with this twisted hand. There you go, it just fits in easily. I'm just worried about this kind of uh, this kind of attachment here because for me my Marvel Select Venom this this peg broke it just broke so I'm a bit worried whether that will be the case for Sandman here as well you know, but that it does allow you to swivel it a bit so there you go this one is the difficult one to fit in the spiky one because it seems like the hole that they made for this is too small I'm not sure whether I need to make it a little bit bigger let's try this one this one so you fit it easily you have no problems there it just fits in okay again I'm still worried that in the end the thing here is might pop off This thing might pop off. So it's pretty easy to attach. But the other arms, you know, you can just simply pull this up. And the other hand, so you can put the other hand here as well. There you go, so you have the other hand there. Where's his legs? Maybe let's go through the articulation already. His, his head is in probably just a ball, so he can't look, he cannot look down, it seems. He can swivel from left to right only. He can extend his hand his arms that far you can do a 360 here he has a bicep swivel here oh no it's falling apart again um a single jointed elbow here he has a swivel here so you can remove this one and you can swivel of course his hands can tilt down upward that much, tilt downward that much. He has a ab crunch, as you can see. Crunching. It just keeps on get removing. It seems that he cannot crunch. He cannot crunch that much backward. It's like he's on a hunch all the time. It's a bit loose, really. Uh, it's a bit loose, so. I mean, probably when I display him, I'll use this one. He has a upper tie swivel here, double jointed knees, double jointed knees. Uh, doesn't have a lower tie swivel or a calf swivel, I mean, but he has his feet can swivel easily can tilt downward apparently can tilt upward a bit doesn't seem to have an ankle rocker there you go we have sandman oops see easily remove that have the human body there so yeah there you got sandman first appeared in the amazing spider-man number four and it was really funny how spider-man actually defeated him here well 
it says here that nothing can stop the Sandman, but apparently a heavy duty vacuum cleaner can stop the Sandman. And for proof that Spider-Man defeated him, Spider-Man just took up um, some grain of sand and punched it all over the air for pictures so that he can provide it to JJJ. So comparison here we have the Marvel Select Sandman at 7.5 inch. Besides Marvel Legend figures 6.3 inch Deadpool and 5.7 inch Wolverine. Here he is beside another um, legless figure, a Marvel Legends Cannonball which is approximately standing at 7.1 inch and here we have him beside Doctor Doom at 6.7 inch. Here he is beside other Sinister Six members. We have Electro, Marvel Legends, and another Marvel Legends is Mysterio. Electro is 6.3 inch tall but with a mass 7.1 inch high and Mysterio is 6.5 inch. Here he is beside other Marvel Legends figures female figures 5.7 inch Stepford Cocos and 6.3 inch Boom Boom. Here he is beside a Marvel Select figure, the Hulkbuster at 8.5 inch and a Marvel Legends Villa figure 7.9 inch Strong Guy. Here he is beside a Marvel Legends figure, a Sauron at 8.3 inches tall and a the Lady Wolverine at 5.7 inch tall. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay safe.